Welcome to the REI Foundation Podcast, where we cover all the steps and strategies to make your real estate dreams a reality. Now your hosts, Jason and Peely. Welcome again to another edition of Multifamily Monday, where we touch on all things apartment investing here on the Real Estate Investing Foundation. I am Jason Yerusi, and today we're going to talk about when analyzing the T12 or trailing 12 of the property, that's trailing 12 months of financials, you need to really hone in on your expenses because that's where there can be a lot of things missed, especially when you're dealing with mom and pop owners, where if you're looking for value out apartments, a lot of times you want to find a mom and pop owner because generally they're not operating the property to its fullest potential. And that gives you the opportunity to find a great deal. But you really need to track what you're looking for. We have analyzed properties before where they've provided us the data on the property. And why you want the last 12 months is because you want to see what they're doing to date, what they've done over the course of the last 12 months, how the property's either improved in some areas or even gotten worse in some areas. Or if you're seeing trends, you want to notice those trends, why things are happening. Plus, in certain areas where maybe it's warm or cold, you're going to have leasing seasons. It may be a lot easier to um, lease a unit in the summer or in the spring than it is in the dead of winter. So if you're having the last three months, that's uh, basically the summer months, you may see that your rent and your vacancies is performing at a lot higher level than if you were looking into the dead of winter where it may be able much harder to rent the property and you may have a higher stake in vacancies. But talking about expenses. This is where you really have to figure things out because ideally if you are going to be a great operator, which I know you will be, you have to figure out what it's going to cost you to operate this property efficiently. We like to deal with it or think of it on a per unit basis. So generally if I have a unit in Kentucky that is an all owners paid property where meaning the owner pays either all or the majority of utilities, it may cost me $4,000 in range, a unit per across the board. So if I have 100 units, 100 units times $4,000 is $400,000. So generally for that point, that's what it's going to cost me to operate that property for the year. And so that's very, very important because that's going to give me my basis. Now, on a good point, maybe I can do some things to change out my water savings or change out uh, toilets or some other things to cut down utilities. But generally, that's going to be what it's going to cost me per unit per year to operate that property. And that's going to be my basis. I'm not going to be able to cut that down tremendously, or I'm going to be just like this mom and pop owner and be, but, and run this property poorly. And hopefully I'm going to keep this from being much higher. But where this is important is when you're looking at the T12, if it's going to cost you $400,000 a year to operate this property, you want to look at their financials and find out where are the holes in this. We've had trailing financials before where the owner has just forgotten to put all of the utilities on there. So of course it looked a lot cheaper to operate this property because when you really dived into it, there was absolutely no utilities. If you're in an area like New Jersey where it snows and there's no maintenance or nothing for snow removal, well, that's another line item. If you are missing items for unit turns, well, Ideally, people are going to get up and leave a property every year and more people are going to move in and they're going to have to turn the units. So there's going to be an, a, a line item for that. You want to also look at maintenance. Maybe the owner is doing his own maintenance, so there's not a line item for maintenance. But if you're operating a property a thousand miles away, you're going to have a staff. On, a, uh, on just a contrary point, you can also see where you can make improvements. They may have five maintenance guys or four maintenance guys for a property where you might be able to do this efficiently and operate it with two, which is good management on point. So these are points that you want to reference. And how are you going to know this? One, you're going to learn how to analyze properties. There's lots of data out there that can do this. Two, you also want to talk with your on-site team, whether that be property manager, brokers, insurance people, all of them have data that can help you provide and understand what it's going to do to cost and to, to run a property. And with that, you can build out what you should be looking at. So when you get these T12s, it's not going to be surprised that if someone tells you it costs them $3,000 a unit operate it, that you know, for you, it's going to cost you $4,000 a unit. So you can back that into your pricing and from there be able to offer appropriately. All right, hope this is helpful. Have a great Monday. Make sure 
look at the fine line, look at the details. And when things stand out, go back and ask the owner, ask the broker, why is this missing? What's happening? Especially for things, we just had one where a property is in a, fl in a flood zone. They have a mortgage, so they have to have flood insurance, but just wasn't on the, on the sheet. So we went back and asked the question and it was missing. How to put that right back into the data. And that of course changes price expectations and what we can offer. All right, have a great Monday. Bye now. Thanks for tuning into the REI Foundation Podcast. Check back next time for more awesome tips and strategies to launch your new you in real estate.